Well, good morning. Welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. I'm taking a break. I've been out, um, <clears throat> first off today, I want to talk about the chaos that is coming. Because <clears throat> it is. And you got to be ready for it. Uh, been out watering the garden. Maybe someday I'll show you the garden. Uh, maybe I'll do it on Patreon. Maybe out here. I haven't decided yet. But I've been out watering the garden and uh, playing with the dog and I'm about ready to go out and bury a, um, a groundhog that the dog killed last night and then replant some um, elderberry uh, over in another section so I'll be doing that it's warming up so I am drinking this morning I'm drinking iced coffee and it's good I love iced coffee I used to love it with uh, hazelnut and some milk. However, McDonald's makes it. Yeah, I know I'm not a big McDonald's fan, but they used to make a great iced hazelnut coffee. <clears throat> now, I've gotten myself off of the, the dairy and the sugar, <clears throat> but uh, iced coffee itself is excellent. So, chaos, huh? Uh, by the way, welcome to everybody. Welcome to all the new people that are out there. I meant to say something to you all. <clears throat> Welcome to everybody who is both on YouTube and those who uh, are joining over on Patreon. That thing's growing like a weed. And I wanted to just take a minute and let people know <clears throat> what they would find on Patreon that they will not find on YouTube, because that's important. Why should, why should you join a Patreon channel if it's just gonna be the same stuff? And uh, in, in that case, it would simply be, you know, if you wanted to support the channel, and there are many, many people who, who do that, in which we appreciate that, but there's a lot of stuff over there that is not on YouTube that may be very interesting to and, and is would be very helpful to you. Is this, is this a sales? Yeah, it, it is kind of. It's because I want you to have the information that would, would help you even more. <clears throat> okay, and it's only a dollar a month for crying out loud, and there's stuff over there that you're just not going to get here. for a couple of reasons. Either I get into things that I don't want to get into YouTube because of the much larger audience and the people that we have dropping in that really can cause some <laughs> chaos uh, because of their uh, misunderstanding or ununderstanding of the topic. They'll jump into the comment sections and they'll... And then I've got to get in there and weed them out. And, you know, they think they know what they're talking about, and they don't. And I'm not going to allow that kind of mess to to bubble around in the comment section because it's it's just messy. And it can mislead people. It, it will mislead people who don't realize, who themselves maybe might not know. <clears throat> and uh, it's just like I do used to do with with my martial arts classes. Occasionally I'd get somebody new coming in, you know, and... And I'd be teaching something, or one of my other instructors would be teaching something. Some kid who had taken, he was a yellow belt someplace else, and he came in to, to take our class. He'd want to offer his brilliance. He'd, well, don't you, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then you got to straighten him out, <clears throat> and you're going to tick him off, and, you know, but you have to straighten him out, or else if you let it go, which I don't. There's a tendency that other people who don't know any better will listen to it, right? So I'm responsible for the for the I I take responsibility for the comment section, as do most creators, and um, that's why I restrict certain topics, like the mafia, the IRA, uh, a lot of gun stuff, a lot of martial arts stuff. These are things that people are very interested in. Uh, some people mistakenly think they know about when they actually don't. Anyway, that's I thought I'd just jot down a few of the the most recent things that uh, that I've covered over there. Last night I just made one: why I carry two or more guns. It's a it's a story from my very first night undercover and how I learned the importance of carrying more than one gun, not just a reload, but more than a, one gun. Uh, I could put up a couple of videos, a uh, gunfight and a, and a crazy. This shows a couple of police or a police shooting down in Nashville. Lessons to be learned from that. How to dry practice for best results. When I get people dry practicing the right the way that I teach it, they are amazed at the results that they get. <clears throat> I cover that over there. Uh, <clears throat> stop worrying about printing. I know this is this is one of those major things 
that too often people carry uh, not enough gun because they're afraid of printing. And I explain over there why you should stop worrying about that. Uh, how should we punish the wicked? <laughs> that, uh, that brought some very interesting uh, responses from the viewers. That's another thing also over on Patreon. We have such a quality of, of members you know, because they really are members, and it, and it really is a community. We have great people that are on, on YouTube as well, but but the, the people on Patreon seems to have coalesced into kind of a core of very, very bright people who are, are there and help help other people. You know, people will come in and ask questions. And it's not just experienced people. There is a lot of newer people that just want more information, and they have people over there who, who can help with that in addition to what they'll learn from from me on my videos. Um, Mafia USA, uh, a lesson and a story. And I'll be adding more of my own Mafia stories over there. Steve, were you in the Mafia? No, I wasn't in the Mafia. I'm not Sicilian, I'm not Italian. But I know a lot about it for various reasons that I discuss over there and not here. Um, and then I forgot to put up one. I, I was going through the, the list of the ones that aren't here on, on uh, or uh, just on YouTube. And I came across one that apparently I forgot to put up. <clears throat> and it is Beware of Phony Experts. <clears throat> that is a, an important one. Beware. There is a lot of phony experts, experts out there, right? Uh, there are a lot of people who have mastered the ability to look and sound like they know what they're talking about. Uh, and and so those who don't know any better believe them. Uh, those who do know better know that they're phonies. Um, it's important. Uh, and, and I forgot, I didn't put that up. It's, it's still holding in the, in the list of videos to be put up. I'm going to have to review that to see whether I'm going to put it up generally on YouTube and Patreon or just on Patreon. It'll depend on how deeply I get into that. And then, uh, and then tonight, I believe I'm going to put up another. Um, I'll be putting up another one just on Patreon uh, that gets into more stuff that you, you know, as things get crazier, you really need to know. Okay, the chaos. It is coming in multiple ways, and that's why it's chaos. You know, as 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 preppers or as prepared minded people or, or as the, the term that I've always used in, in, in our circle and I've only recently mentioned it here, I call people, the, the, the point to which you want to be working is what I consider to be a self-reliant. And, and I use that word as a noun, not, not self-reliant as, as an adjective, but a self-reliant. Uh, that, that's what I talk, matter of fact, that's what I talk about in my books. The sponsor of this is The Reversion, my first book, and all of my other books, my five books, um, about developing self-reliance. When you get to that point to where you hardly need anything from the system, that's when I would consider you to be a self-reliant. Um, very few people get to that point, but the thing is some do, you know, and, and I know that, you know, you'll see comments about nobody, it's impossible to get to that point. No, it's not. It's, it's actually not impossible to get to that point. It is very difficult. It takes money and it takes time and it takes proper planning uh, to get to that point. I can't give you the money and I can't get, only God can give you the time, but I give you the plan on how to do it in here. And you can simply reduce this. It, it's, you know, it's like a textbook in novel form, uh, and, and it'll show you, you know, how to start and how to get there. <clears throat> so uh, a self-reliant, yeah, he's, you know, a self-reliant is ready for pretty much anything that's coming down the road. And, but Steve, what about? <laughs> There's always going to be a what about, you know. What about an asteroid? Well, it depends on where it hits, I suppose, and what you think the effect's going to be. But what's coming down our road here... Uh, is going to be more easily dealt with according to how well prepared you are, right? I talked on the reversion channel the other day 
about chaos, the kind of chaos is coming. And from that, I pretty much took it from a political um, aspect. If you want more of that, go over to the Reversion channel. Its link is down here under how to get to the Patreon channel and how to buy my books, uh, both in the information and um, a pinned comment. But chaos is coming in chaos simply because there are so many catastrophes or semi or mini catastrophes coming all at once. That's, that's going to create a storm that is going to be uh, interesting to say the least. The economy is in the tank like we all know. Uh, we're going to be experiencing food shortages. The inflation on food is already probably causing the people on the very lower end to experience food shortages because they're, they're not able to stock and maybe in some cases they're not able to bring in what they need on a daily basis. I'm truly sorry for those people. Uh, do the best you can. Um, but as, as inflation increases, and I've said before, I don't know whether I said it on here or not, um, that I consider inflation, which they're now admitting to be over 10%, I consider it to be more between 20 and 25%, and I bet it's inching up towards 30. I bet it is. Because they, of course, as you know, they're not including fuel and food, and those are the most volatile. Those are the things that drive up all costs. Now, some people I've heard say, well, inflation, you know, so then you're going to be paid more. No, you know, wages always follow goods and they follow sometimes a long ways back. And if you get into even something called stagflation, that is a real problem. So we have people in economics now. We're, we're now in, in bear market territory for the, for the, uh, for the markets a 20% drop from a recent high. That's that's how a bear market is considered. Some people are, cons are, are estimating, some financial people are estimating that we will remain in bear territory, which means meh, um, for a year, year and a half. Yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt that a bit. What does that mean? That means that people are losing their shorts. Anybody with money in the markets is losing. They are losing value and they're losing money. They're losing, if you've got a 401k, you know, you say, well, how, how does the markets, I'm not a rich guy, how does the market affect me? If you've got any money in an IRA and a 401k, any of that kind of stuff, it's, you're losing money right now. I'll stop there for just a second and address that and tell you how, my opinion on that. Should you pull your money out, don't do what I say because I'm not responsible for your financial decisions and I'm not a financial advisor, but I tend to be fairly smart about these things and I do fine for myself. So if you'd like to hear what I did for myself, I'll be happy to share that. That's what this is. And people for the last two years have asked me, what should I buy? Should I be real estate, buy real estate? Should I buy stocks? No, I told them stack cash stack cash. The only thing during those times to buy was guns and food. Pretty much still the same advice that I would give my friends. <clears throat> Historically, if you can keep your money in, if you don't need your money for another 15 years, historically, history indicates, I'll put it that way, that it's best to leave your money in the market because almost any 15-year-old period, 15-year uh, period, uh, I have a 15-year-old, so that's what, uh, if any 15-year period, you're going to be, the stock market will continue to go up. That's over 15 years. But if you need your money now, you're, you're going to lose. You're, you're going to lose. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't take your money out now. Because if you need it in five years, if you need it, whatever, you could be losing more. I mean, that's for you to decide. I'll tell you what I did. I got all my money out. When I left my job, because I, I was of an age that I could, I took all my money out of my 401k, 403b, all of that. Because I knew it was going down, and it did. I have other friends who pulled out. There's a lot, a lot of money. A lot. But if I pull it out, it won't grow. True, but if you left it and it's losing, which which is better, not growing or losing? 
Uh, well, where do I put it then? Okay, I'm not going to get into that. You have to make those decisions yourself. What I would say is hold on. I've always suggested to my friends you hold on because land and real estate is going to be easy to buy here in a year or two. It's going to go down, 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 down. We're seeing a softening of the housing market. We're seeing an increase in mortgage rates. It's gone from 3% to 68 just recently. Uh, that means that buying a house is going to be more difficult. It's going to be more expensive. Okay, And this housing bubble, I've, I've told people it was a bubble. No, 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 Craig. It's I mean, Steve. <laughs> Some people call me Craig. No, I don't know, Steve. But it's going. Um, I said it was a bubble. It's going to burst. All bubbles burst. It has burst. The air is leaking a little bit now, and pretty soon I think it's going to pop. So do what you want to about that. Um, <clears throat> So, in a year or two, you're going to be able to buy real estate and stocks a lot better price than you are now. And you make money on these things, not when you sell, but when you buy. You have to buy at the right time. Now, <clears throat> that's our first scoop of our Chaos Sunday, right? The second scoop is our, the general financial. The inflation is going to be kicking people's butt. Um, this is kind of on top of that. Um, so, let me skip over to the political. We know the political fiasco that is in the making. We, we see the rage on the left gearing up for a, an election that they know they're going to be wiped out in. What was this last thing? Now, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in Trump here. He's not a conservative, but he has governed. He governed as more of a conservative than anybody since Reagan, and in some cases more than Reagan. And before anybody jumps in here and tells me, hey, you know, how horrible Trump is and everything like that, I'm, I'm not a Trump lover, um, but he did some great things. Put down how much, before you say that, make a list of the top 10 things you prefer about Biden, okay? Okay, so let's, let's just don't have any of that ridiculous, idiotic conversation, because I'm, I'm going to figure that you're probably a, you know, well an instigator and that's not what this is for what was it 128 uh, Trump has gone around I, I, I think I'm seeing his plan I think we can see what what he's doing you know the hidden hand the guys a smart guy that's why he usually gets done what he wants to yeah what he wants to may be different than what you want him to but he usually gets done what he wants to um, so he's he's backed I don't know how many uh, a lot of people. He's he's lining things up for his next political play, and so he has has uh, given his support to a number number of congressional uh, candidates, both in the House and the Senate. I think I just saw a figure today that 128 of the people that he has backed have won their primaries, and nine have lost. That's interesting. He is wanting to create a supermajority in the House and Senate in case he or whoever he wants runs in 24. Okay. It's almost guaranteed that the Republicans will just have a huge increase in this off-year election. It always does. Now you can say, but Steve, they're going to cheat. Of course they're going to cheat. All right, they're going to cheat. So do you give up? Is that what you do? You know, I, I used to tell my fighters that I want you to beat him so bad, your opponent. Ah, yeah. Win so decisively that even if they cheat and even if you got a bad referee, you're still going to win. See, if, if, if you win by the skin of your teeth... Well, yeah, bad referees and cheating on the other side can can beat you. Really, this is more for the reversion channel, so I'll I'll, I'll stop it there. But we're seeing that what happens here, what, what what the effect here is that the left is so afraid that they're going to do anything that it takes to win or to screw up the elections. We're going to see riots. We're going to see protests. 
Uh, we are going to see a lot more violence. These unfortunate things that have been happening in schools and grocery stores and all that, we're going to see more of that. We're going to see more nightly violence as these cities erupt into violence. I'm old enough, I've mentioned this before, I remember the riots of 1968. If you haven't lived through the riots, you don't know what they're like, and they are no fun. It is a game changer. What that means is there is no safe place. No safe place. Because as that side who cannot win on their positions, as they become more and more frightened, they are like a cornered animal. They are going to do anything. And you are not safe anywhere unless you make your place safe. And you know what that means. That means you have the tools to make sure that you are safe everywhere you go. And you have an understanding. And that's my main thing for, for, for today is, is to, if anybody out there doesn't yet realize, you have to be ready everywhere all the time. Everywhere all the time. You have to be ready, ready to go there, as they say. You know, you got to be ready to go there. When, when, you know, when the whistle sounds, you got to go. And that's, that's mental. As the decisions come down out of the Supreme Court that everybody's waiting for, that's another can of kerosene on the fire. That's going to make it more dangerous. When you put in all of these, all of these elements, the crashing economy, unbelievable inflation coming. Is it going to reach hyperinflation? I don't know. We'll see. You know, there's a term, there's a definition for that. Do I think we're going to be taking, having to take a wheelbarrow full of money to the store for a loaf of bread? No, I don't think it's going to get that bad. But the Fed is showing that they are going to be raising interest rates to try to put a clamp on, on inflation. That's going to hurt a lot of people. So <clears throat> anyway, you, you, you get the picture. Here's what I would suggest you do. Buy food now. It's your greatest investment right now. I've been saying that for a long time, and I think I did. I say this, I forget. I said this a lot on, on American Reversion. I've said it a lot here. Food is one of your very best investments. When I eat corn, I eat 29 cent corn, not a dollar 79 cent corn, because I bought it when it was 29 cents, right? Food is a lot more expensive now than it was a year ago, but it's not as expensive as it's going to be a year from now. To the extent that you can stock up more food, stock up more food. There are other things uh, in the self-defense department that you can still buy at decent prices. Those are going to go up. You know, the, the feed for them is expensive. I don't see that coming down any, anytime soon. But the delivery systems are still, you know, they're, they're not as cheap as they were, but they're not out of range. If you need one, get one. If you need two, get two. If you can afford to get more, get more, because they're going to pay off for you in the future. I don't think there's any way for anybody to know exactly what's going to happen, but it's going to be a mess. It's going to be total chaos. It can hit you at any time. Anybody that says a particular thing is going to happen, well, we'll see, right? We'll see. Think about it. Get ready. Look at where you're weak. Get ready in those. I'm going to go fix myself a nice big breakfast and then take a bunch of books up to the, to the library to mail out to people who have ordered them. I guess I didn't say this. If you haven't gotten, if you want to know how to prepare for this stuff and you haven't read my series of books yet, you should. Okay. I don't, there's no way that I can pack five books worth of knowledge and uh, suggestions and advice and here's what could happen into some 20 and 30 minute videos 
and you will be well served for reading that how to get it down there below be careful be ready be ready pay attention to what's going on in the world because it's going to have an effect on you if you don't realize how think more keep watching keep watching we're going to be talking about it watch the news I know there are people are going to say I'm sick of the news well the news is intelligence and it's but they lie yes they lie but the, the you need to know what they're trying to feed you don't don't take what they say at face value look at it as an intelligence operation here's what they're trying to convince me of here's what they're trying to tell me now in there somewhere is some truth because they have to wrap their lie in some truth be able to distinguish between their lies and the truth and get ready for the situation that the truth is indicating, right? Okay. You all have a good day. Remember, we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. This video is also brought to you by the Second Amendment. I'm going to have a good breakfast. I'm going to go out and work hard for the rest of the day and prepare more. You all should, should sit too. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.